Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my mini series, shall we say, of working on my wrap top with peplum hem that I've designed and today I'm hoping to finish tweaking the toile and then hopefully make one up in two fabrics to see what it's going to be like double sided because that's the idea I've got in my head. So hope you enjoy, follow me along in my studio today. So before I continue, I've still got the leftovers of my cold I had last week. So I may be a little bit sniffly, a little bit chesty, a little bit gravelly voice. <clears throat> so please bear with me. So, oh, you might notice I've got my fairy lights back up. I found them. I put them away when I was tidying my room up and I was moving it all around. And I forgot all about them, found them and put them up. So all is good in the world now. My fairy lights are up. So back to my wrap top. So... If you remember the last episode, um, it, I was really happy with the neckline. Um, I was going to just maybe adapt or take off a bit of the peplum there and maybe just not make the angle as steep and then take off that, that little bit there at the side where it tends to go out a little bit. So I've got a little bit too much there where I pinned it. Uh, but apart from that, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. So I'll take you to my overhead camera and I'll show you what my ideas are, what my plans are, and I'll show you the fabrics that I'm going to make, make it up in today. Oh, you may recall my scruffy little sketch that I showed you on the last video. And really, it's appalling. It's terrible. It's a terrible sketch to show you on a video. I realised that afterwards when I watched the video back, I just thought, Jane, that is not good at all. It was my little rough sketch, but I shouldn't just left it as a rough sketch. I should have worked on it to make it into something a little bit better. So saying that, I have, and I have now created a much better sketch. And uh, I'm quite impressed. This is my first ever attempt at doing a croquis. Uh, well, it's not my first ever attempt, but it's my first attempt for a long time and I just thought, come on, you can do it. can be quite a little bit intimidating because I can't draw to save my life, but actually if you use the croquis, which is like a faint line underneath to draw around, it is a lot easier than you think. So here, here it is, the wrap top, and that's how I envisage it on the body. On this picture, I have um, drawn kind of a little collar but I don't think I'll be doing that today. Uh, today, I'd like I'd like it to have a little collar on the like a um, folded over kind of collar. Um, but today, I'm just going to concentrate on um, tweaking tweaking a few bits and then sewing one up with two fabrics. Uh, so it's going to it's going to be twirl number two. If it work, if it turns into a wearable twirl, brilliant. If it doesn't, I'm not too worried because I'm going to be using the fabrics that are actually the fabrics, the two fabrics that I've got in my Sadie skirt that I made a couple of months ago. Um, so I'm just going to use those two fabrics, and if it works out fine, well, it'll be a nice top that'll go with a skirt. If it doesn't, I'm not too worried because I've got the spare fabric left off that. Um, which is just sitting on my shelf. So I'll remind you a little bit close up of the fabric. So there are, these are the two fabrics. Now this one has got some stretch in it and I didn't realize. So it's probably not the best fabric to use. One way stretch. So I'm not sure, but I've got quite a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use that. And then I'm also going to use that. Hopefully I've got enough going to use that so it's going to be double sided that's the plan so yeah so there's my um design which i'm quite chuffed with and that's how i envisage it envisage it to look and i mean that, you have to admit i have to admit that is a lot better than that scruffy little sketch so no more scruffy little sketches so yeah so that's what i've got to work on so taking my pieces i'm not going to change there's my smooth my skirt block i'm just using my skirt block to line up 
um, on the peplum to see where I wanted to take it off and I've just marked it with a pencil and I've just marked it with a pen the actual my line my original line so I'm just going to literally take it back to that original line I originally took it out a little bit and I think there's too much flare there so I'm just going to take the pattern back to the original skirt line and the same on that side on the, on, that's on the back and they're the same on the two sides so first things first I'm just going to trim trim off that extra that I put on originally And then take off that bit on the back piece. Right, so that's back to basics. Now also, I think I'm going to take off a little bit of the angle on the peplum and then maybe make it not I don't want to lose the design because I, I like I like that design so I don't want to lose too much of that but I think I'll just reduce it the angle a little bit less so I'm going to take off the back move the back out the way so <clears throat> let me just line the pieces up so I can get in my head so there is a centre front there is a centre front I'll mark it with a pen so you maybe be able to see it better on the camera so there's a centre front and there's a centre front on that one happy with those slight adjustments and I'm not going to change the front or back at all and I'm just going to I'm just going to cut I'm just going to cut two of them out sew them together and work out how I'm going to fasten it because at the minute I've just got it pinned I'm not sure whether I'm going to have buttonhole fastening which is on my design buttonhole two buttonholes there and then two buttonholes there or have a tie and tie or have hook and eye inside don't know but I'm gonna go in my head with 
buttonholes. So I'm going to go with that because that's what I've got on my design. Um, I've got... Excuse me, Jordi. Thank you, supervisor. I've got like buttonholes on my design. Should have two there as well. And I think it's quite cute. So that's, that's the theory. That's what I'm going to go with. Now I just need to move my cat out of the way. <clears throat> and uh, cut some out. I need one of them. No, I need two of them. I get confused. <laughs> I need two that want to go the front and back, both sides. That's cut on the fold, so I need two of them on the fold. I need to cut two of them twice. I need to cut one on the fold, one in my lining. So I need one of them, one of them, two of them, that's right.
Okay, so that's all the pieces cut out. So now we've just got to sew it up and see what it looks like and see if it actually works. It works in my head, but if it works, let's see. So let's have a look and see what I've got. So let's just get rid of all the scraps so don't get confused. So we've got the pink. I'm just going to pop a pin. This is the under, under peplum, so I'll pop a pin on the front side. This is the over peplum. Just so I don't get them accidentally turned around. Under, over, and then my two front pieces. So first of all, I'll probably just bulk pin and sew. So I'm gonna pin my darts, sew all the darts, and then I'll sew all the pink pieces together. I think. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll sew all the floral pieces together and then I'll put the pink and the floral right sides together and stitch around and leave a gap in the bottom, I think, and turn it through. Not sure. Let's just see. So first things first, let's pin the darts. So just give everything a press. Oh, I forgot to change my bobbin thread. Oops. I've got green on the bobbin thread. I'll have to change that.
so yeah so pin shoulders side seams for the pink the floral and the pink Okay, so that's the tops, the top part of the wrap top done on both both the fabrics. So I just need to press my seams open, see how we get on, and then after I've pressed them, I'm going to sew my peplum pieces and then sew my peplum pieces on to the corresponding fabric. I'm just working all this out in my head and so i'll have a complete pink one we'll have a complete floral one then we're going to put right sides together so all the way around hopefully and pull pull it through one of the sleeve holes that's the theory and then i can just top stitch the sleeves together that's the theory so give everything a press Pin my peplums together, see how it turns out. Right, so the peplums. So I'm just going to press, clip my curves, slight curve to them so I'm just going to clip them. So next up is to pin my peplums to the top bodice, my right sides together. So 
So match up the side seams because the side seams should match. And I have got, I need to put a, a centre back notch on my pattern. So I need to mark a notch. I want to make it again. So in my head I'm thinking it works, but now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, will it work? I think so, yeah. Let's pop it on. Right, so there's one pinned. So I need to now pin the floral one. It's experimental. I've never done a double-sided top of any sort. In fact, I've never done a wrap top of any sort. So this is all new brand new to me so i have no idea where this is going to work so theory is obviously stitch them together stitch the peplum on that one the peplum on this one and then uh, sew it all together like right sides together would that work will that even work will the peplums match up so will that match up with that Not even sure if that'll work. My peplums off. It won't work. My peplums. It's because the peplums aren't equal. Because that side is not that side. So clearly that isn't going to work because my peplums are not even. I've got one is one different size to the other side. So, it's not going to work because this peplum here is, this obviously is the peplum. Right, so obviously, yeah, that, that isn't going to work, so I'm glad I haven't <laughs> stitched that. Right, so, so for me to get it to work, I don't know. Right, so back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. So unpin the peplums and sew the peplums. No idea. Sew the peplums together. If I didn't have the peplum on, the double-sided top that would work because they're both the same. But because my peplums are not the same, the left, the under peplum is different to the over peplum, it's not going to match up with the other one, is it? That's clearly, obviously, obvious. So let me just try and work this out in my head. What I should have done was, is when I stitched up the two colours, I should have put the under peplum, I should have, yeah, I still could do that actually. I could unpick, th I'm not going to, am I going to? <laughs> oh dear me. That's probably what I should have done was, I should have put the under peplum on, say for the pink, and the, out, the under peplum, just put them over the other side. So that's what I should have done, and then it would have matched. Yes. 
course of course so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to unpick the pink one but because the pink one because the fabric is the same either side i can get away with it but for next time i'll have to make sure i turn the pieces over So if I just unpick that and just unpick that, put that piece there, that piece there, that should solve. That should solve that. Right, fingers crossed, this now will work. So, floral, if I was to line that up, pretend it's stitched, line it up with this one, please let them match. Where am I? Yes, matches. Whew. Okay, so that works. So in my head, I should then be able to sew everything round in one massive go and then pull it out the right way through one of the sleeve holes and then hopefully, fingers crossed, and it will work exactly as I've got in my head. I am thinking I'm gonna leave this video here because I'm conscious it's gonna be a really long video. So I will film part three. I'm gonna work on this in part three and hopefully show you the finished result. I hope you've enjoyed watching me muddle along through this project, shall we say. But like I said at the beginning, it's an experimental project. I've never done double-sided anything before i haven't really gone down much in the way of lining anything before so this is all kind of lining and i've never done a wrap top and obviously this is something that i've designed and i have no idea whether it works so it's all experimental so i hope you've enjoyed watching me so far and stay tuned fingers crossed that part three will have a lovely resulting double-sided wrap top with peplum stay tuned